Notice what he says. He says, and they will say all kinds of evil against you falsely. Church, blessed are you when they speak all kinds of evil against you for Christ's sake. Let me help us with something. Jesus has now went to the next phase of persecution. Jesus went from face to face. Then he went to physical, physical. We're dealing with physical, are we? And don't think for a second physical doesn't mean people won't speak to you. People won't talk to you. That's physical. But now he's about to go to one that's really bad. Notice. They'll speak all kinds of evil against you falsely. You know, the third one is, church, when people talk behind your back. There is nothing worse when people talk behind your back. When people will get together with other people and they will plot behind your back to do you in. And you know what they do when they get behind your back? They tell lies about you. This is one of the things that has bothered me about certain people who proclaim to be in the church. They will see great things that you do and they'll never tell the great things you do. They'll only tell the things that bother them. And they'll never tell people how great you are. They'll never tell who you helped. They'll never tell great things you said. They'll never tell how many people's lives you are affecting, how many people that you have turned away from evil and turned towards good. You know what they do? They get behind your back and they mention the one thing that you've done to them. And they say, this person right here, you don't want to fool with them. Why? Let me tell you what they did. Let me tell you what they did to me. Let me tell you what they did that one time. And they'll make things up and they'll say you meant one thing when you never even meant what they said. You know they did this to Jesus? They did the same thing to Jesus. That Judas, the moment Jesus said something he didn't like, he looked for an opportunity to betray him. And what does he do? He goes to the Pharisees. And then the Pharisees, they begin every turn. They're having meetings and talking behind Jesus' back because they're talking about when are we going to seize Jesus? And they're looking for an opportunity. Do y'all know that the Pharisees and the Sadducees had two different beliefs and they didn't really even they didn't even really get along? But let me tell you what they did. That when Jesus came along and he began to speak and live the truth, the two enemies got together and became friends. And they conspired behind Jesus' back. And they conspired with Judas. And then the Roman government, they even got with the Roman government. And they talked behind Jesus' back. And when Pontius Pilate got in front of Jesus, Pontius Pilate was trying to give Jesus an excuse to free himself. Because all Pontius Pilate, all he's heard is rumors. All he's heard is lies. All he's heard is bad things that Jesus did. When all Jesus did was good and portray the truth of God, but nevertheless, they got behind his back. And they spoke all kinds of evil. And this is what people do. And we better recognize something. This is what people are doing. And I want us to look at something here. Just one word for you to follow. This word evil. Jesus uses one specific word. There are two words in the Greek language for evil. There is kako, kakos or panareos. And the issue that Jesus is dealing with here is that the second one is intentional evil. It's intentional evil. Sometimes people do things and they may do something that is evil, but they may not have the intent of being doing it to you. Sometimes people just do bad things. I was talking to a person a couple of weeks ago, and I was telling them that sometimes people don't understand. There was a guy one time that I used to work with, and he used to treat me real harsh, and I just thought he was racist. 
I just pulled the race card out. And I was like, this guy is racist. And then someone else came and told me later on, someone who was white. And this is why we have to be careful at the glasses that we look through. Amen, walls. No, she told me. She said, no, George. He treats everybody like that. He's just a jerk. And he's a person that just does evil intentionally. This is what Jesus is talking about. I want to help us with something. Do y'all know that even the people who go against us, people don't always go against you because of who you are. Are we following this? They go against you because of what you stand for. Yes. 